the barrel. The barrel is a. Uh, so I thought, okay, let me go find the barrel. <laughs> That's the big deal, you know. I mean, it's not the barrel you can buy at uh, Home Depot in those places. They put a planner in it. Those are barrels. Apparently, is in high demand. Um, everybody wants every microbrewery, every small brewery wants a good bourbon barrels because. The bourbon barrels is completely different than, than other barrels. The way the process is, the way what we do with it. In order to be called bourbon, the barrel have to be fresh, have to be charred, and the bourbon have to be in it at least two years. Um, using white oak. Um, but the process that happen in the barrel when you make it for bourbon, uh, make it very attractive to microbrewers because the, the flavor. What I'm saying is, here's, Here's a cut of of um, of, uh, of uh, oak, white oak from a, from a, uh, in that particular case from a wine barrel. Uh, you can see the wine stain on it, and you can see there's hardly any penetration uh, into the wood. Um, so yes, you're gonna get some of the barrel, but not a whole lot. In a bourbon barrel, here's a piece of a bourbon barrel. First of all, the chart the barrel. That's what gives the whiskey the color. The chart. And then because they chart the barrel, you can see how deep it goes into the barrel, which means it brings a lot more out of the barrel. And this is the key. This is the key in there. You're gonna get a lot more barrel, which means you're gonna look oakiness, you got smokiness from the chart. You're gonna get a lot more uh, uh, molasses, dark uh, smoke, uh, um, uh, caramel flavors, uh, all, all the good, great stuff we're looking at, the good whiskey and the good bourbon. Uh, so it's huge. Bourbon barrels for us, this is this is the key. We experiment with different barrels. It was okay. We wasn't our cup of tea or a cup of whiskey bell coffee. We wanted again, we wanted something to finish like bourbon, finish like whiskey. And the barrel gave it to us. And and we we I was very lucky to meet a few people that been doing barrels and working with barrels for, for many, many years. And, 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 and they taught me a whole lot about this. There's a whole science behind the barrel. The way you char it, the way you build it, uh, the way you use the oak, the moisture. Uh, it's not just the barrel. Um, it's, a whole, it's, a whole, it's a whole art of, of, of adding flavors, infusing flavors back into the bourbon or the whiskey or, or, or whatever you put in there. Uh, with that chart, and that's that's the particular reason we're using uh, the bourbon barrels and not the uh, wine barrels or something like that.